Hello viewer, I'm here with some good news. As you can see, I have DaVinci Resolve running, and the title of the video says that I'm going to tell you how to run AGX on DaVinci Resolve. No time to chat, let's do this. Firstly, let's chat. A few words what AGX is for the unaware. AGX is a view transform made by Troy Sobotka. Yes, the same person who made Filmic for Blender. AGX is often called Filmic V2 because it's based on the same principles, it was released for OpenColor.io and it's also made by the same developer. AGX is a very robust tool that helps you form an image by uh, gracefully desaturating or attenuating colors as they get brighter. It also is very resistant to accidental hue shifts, such as the famous Rat Piss Yellow or Nuclear Scion. Introductions aside, let's get to computer computering. There are currently two ways of setting up AGX on DaVinci Resolve, as far as I'm aware. The first way is through Fusion tab, which does not require the paid Resolve Studio version, but it has its limitations. The second approach is by using DCTLs, but you will have to purchase the full version of DaVinci Resolve. Let's start with Fusion. First of all, let's download AGX. Let's go to Troy's GitHub, go Code, and click Download Zip. I have that downloaded already. I'll just extract it here. And I recommend you put these files somewhere where you can reuse them later. Let's go back to Resolve. And as you can see, I have the classic color swatch sweep. That will help us see what's going on a bit better. Let's start by right-clicking on the empty area. Let's go Color, OCIO, Color Space. Hold Shift and drag that over the nodes so it's connected like that. For the controls, we want to browse to the OCIO config we've just downloaded and select config.ocio. Now, I know this image is a linear rec 709, so I will keep the source space as BT709, linear, but as output space, I want to select AGX base. And there we have it. That's pretty much it. I mentioned that there's a limitation of this method, and that limitation is quite huge. You can't really use the DaVinci Resolve grading tools as those tools will only work on an image that is already formed. But there is a way around it. You can do some uh, simple grading by adding a tool in the Fusion tab called um, Color Corrector. I found that tool to be very useful. And make sure to add it before the color space node that we've just added before. I'll drop it here. And now we can do some corrections before AGX. These are, of course, very basic corrections, but they often suffice. So all these corrections will be made before image formation, and all these settings will take place after the image is made, or after formation. The second way, again, requires you to have DaVinci Resolve Studio. I personally don't own the full version, as most of my needs are met by Blender and Olive. But a lot of people prefer Resolve due to its UI, snappiness, and a wide variety of tools. Now, to get AGX working in the Color tab, first of all, we need to go to Troy's GitHub, once again, and navigate to AGX Resolve. Download all these files, then, of course, unzip them again. And let's get back to Resolve. Now, if you go to File and Project Settings, then Color Management, and open LUT folder, this will open your DaVinci Resolve LUT folder, of course. Now, simply make a new folder, call it AGX, and copy over the three files that you've just downloaded. Like so. I'll confirm and close all these folders. We won't need them anymore. 
So now we should have the DCTLs installed. So in order to make use of AGX, we'll have to add a few nodes and a few tools. Let's create a new node by pressing Alt S on your keyboard and we will need a color space transform. So in the input color space, I know that this image is linear rec 709. I want to select um, rec 709 and input gamma is going to be linear. Now for the output color space, the instructions that Troy wrote said that it's best to use the RE wide gamma 3 and the output gamma, ugh, output gamma is RE log C3. Now I know this looks awful, but we are getting there. For tone mapping, make sure you disable it. We don't need that right now. Let's add another serial node by pressing Alt S again. And now we can add DCTL. Okay, I'm getting the message that I will need to purchase the full studio version of uh, DaVinci Resolve, but I don't want to do that just yet. And from the DCTL list, select Camera AGX. So let's walk through this once again. This is the input image. That is conversion to log. And this is the AGX DCTL. Now lastly for grading. Remember that there are two mechanics for grading here. Pre-AGX and post-AGX. Pre-formation and post-formation. People used to call these states scene referred and display referred. But this terminology had quite a few drawbacks that lead to some serious case of brain worms and confusion. And I had both. Personally, I use a healthy mix of both pre- and post-formation tuning to get the picture I want. That's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!